Hello and welcome to today's video. We are going to be covering SQL distinct. So what is SQL distinct? Why is it something that you need to know as a data analyst, as a data scientist? Yeah, and then we'll get into like some examples of how it's actually used. But before I get into the actual video, uh, I'm using my SQL as you can see. And uh, if you don't know how to install my SQL, feel free to go to the first ever video on this playlist. So if you go to my channel and you go to the playlist section, you'll see SQL tutorials. Just go to the first ever video and there you'll see how I was able to import my CSV onto my onto my onto my my SQL <laughs> onto my SQL. And also there's a link in the description that will take you to a video that I use to help guide me to download my SQL. So yeah, mm, do that quickly, come. Let's continue with this. If you're ready, let's go. So yeah, <clears throat> uh, the first question. Uh, I we want to select a distinct list of countries. So I'm using the YouTube statistics data sets. Just like all my videos before this, I'm going to link the location I'm going, to, I'm going to link the data set so where you can find the data set it's a data set i source from google and yeah you can get it and follow along with me yeah so i want to get a list of distinct countries so this is a youtube statistics data set and it has a list of like top youtubers in i think it was a data set for 2023 yeah and where they come from so if you think through it you might have five top youtubers who are probably from kenya another 10 who are from the US, another 30 who are from the UK and whatnot. So for sure, there are countries that are repeated. But if you want to select all the countries listed here, probably because you want to use it in a case statement. So you get the list, copy paste it and use it in your case statement. And that's something that you're going to do in the video that's coming after this, which is SQL case statement. So if that's something you're interested in, please feel free to you know subscribe so that when the video is up, you're notified. But yeah, so yeah, let's say you want to create a case statement, maybe of the countries that are there, of the products that are there, of the ages that are there. What would you do? You can print the distinct elements in the variable slash column that you're interested in and copy paste them and use them to create uh, a case statement with whatever bounds that you have in mind. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, printing out the distinct list of countries. So what you're going to do is you're going to select distinct, yeah, here it is, uh, country. Hmm, okay, oh, I didn't show you guys how I did this. Okay, we're going to do that in a few. So exactly how it's spelled, uh -huh. and then let's run this. Okay, so there you go. So I really like how, like I use Postgres more and I use Postgres in, not in my SQL, of course, and it usually shows you the number, but still this is okay. So this is the list of unique countries and yeah, that's basically how you use distinct. So yeah, back here, as you can see, I created a new schema called YT YouTube stats, yeah. And in YouTube stats, I have a table I have tables, yeah, and one of them is global YouTube statistics. That's the name of the data set. And if you open it, we have, okay, yeah, this global YouTube statistics has what? Has these columns, yeah? Because uh, if you remember what was previewed here, it was so many columns and we couldn't see all of them. So I'm just using this instead to access the various columns that I'm interested in. So here we have select distinct country from YT stats uh, from uh, YT stats, which is the name of the schema dot global YouTube statistics. Yeah. So that was the first thing. The next thing we want to do is we want to count distinct and count countries. So this next one is going to really like really explain or show you guys the power of distinct. Like I remember, mm, like let's say you get into an organization. <laughs> I hope this is not what's going to happen to you. And maybe the database is not documented very well, the schemas for some reason, I don't even think that should be possible. But yeah, maybe they're just not updated, yeah? And you're trying to figure out how to join various tables. This particular trick really helped me. So if you do select and uh, count uh, country, yeah?
Mm, that it has to be uppercase country, yeah. And then let's say as count of or oh, yeah, that's what we want to name the new column. Then we want to also count, but this time we want to count distinct. So distinct number of country and it's country. Mm -hmm. from okay let's run this and see like when we're just counting normally and we're counting distinct uh what would be the difference between those two <clears throat> okay so as you can see when we count all the countries we have 847 but when we count distinct, there are only 47 countries. What does that tell you? This data set has, like there's a lot of reputation. So as I mentioned before, you could get like five YouTubers from the same country, another 10 who are from somewhere in Africa, another 30 who are from somewhere in North America, ETC, ETC. So yeah, so, so many ways you could use distinct. Maybe mm, you're working with a set of unique identifiers, yeah, and mm, you whatever calculation you're doing, you know, but, but this is not something I really recommend. But yeah, whatever calculation you do, you know, there is duplicates. So what you can do is select distinct on the unique identifier, and then uh every other column you're interested in. So it will only select. So like if Stacy is the unique identifier and Stacy appears twice, it will only select Stacy once. Yeah, but that's not something I recommend you to do. Like <laughs> go through the proper steps and make sure you actually clean your data, make sure you actually join your data appropriately. That way you're not forced to do such things. Yeah. So yeah, the next thing we can do is a uh, distinct count and just count on uh YouTuber. So my thinking is for this particular one, then <clears throat> the count will be the same because yeah, because this is a list of YouTubers. Unless the data itself has some data cleaning issues, the number of YouTubers count, normal count and distinct count should be the same. But yeah, uh, let me do that. Mm -hmm. YouTuber. YouTuber. Let's run that and see. Aha. Uh -huh. So you could almost say YouTuber is on unique identifier. So there are 847 YouTubers when you just count. And when you count distinct, there's still 847. And that means out of this 847 YouTubers, they are they come from 47 different countries. Yeah. Okay, so let's do uh, count distinct and just count on channel type. So how many channel types are there? Yeah, so notice how I'm just uh, copy pasting because we've already uh, created this syntax. There's no need to you know, reinvent the wheel yet you already reinvented. So if we do <clears throat> channel type, and channel type, uh, who can guess what would happen? So I think it's going to be a case of like the normal count of channels will be high, but the distinct count is going to be lower because you'll probably have out of this 847 YouTubers, there are some who are from maybe beauty, vlog-like uh, channel types, ETC. So yeah, let's run this and see what happens. Yeah, so if you count all of them, that's 847 representing the YouTubers. And then we have 14. So yeah, and yeah, that's it for uh, select, this, like SQL distinct. So yeah, I really hope that you guys now understand how distinct works. So these are just a few use cases that I have presented to you guys. But the whole point of this tutorial is to just introduce you into this various sql concepts but it's up to you to really listen to whatever your stakeholders are presenting to you really think through it and with all this knowledge that you have 
how do you bring it all together? I don't know what that is. Let me just pause till the noise passes. Okay, the noise is gone. But yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, let me know down below in the comments. Feel free to also like if you actually liked it. If there's anything around SQL or any other data analytics tool that you'd want me to create content around, whether it's just talking about education tutorials on how to use it, also let me know down in the comments if this is the first video of mine or first video of, of mine that is around SQL that you're watching. Know this is part of our whole SQL tutorial that I'm I'm going to be creating over the couple of the next over the next couple of months. But one thing I'm really trying is to make sure I am at least for the first few like this quote unquote simpler concepts. I'm trying to post these tutorials every other day so that I don't keep you waiting one video today, another video tomorrow, and yet these are very basic concepts that you can literally sit and you know binge watch and get them pop 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 so i'm really trying for the first few to upload them almost every other day as we get into more complex ones we are going to now start you know uh, uploading every every maybe after every two or three days and yeah uh, i really want to also i'm really another thing i'm really excited about is you know putting all these concepts together so one thing i plan to do is uh, so now we are going to do till SQL having, and we're going to do a very basic beginner level project. So it's going to be a single table project. The plan is to combine SQL and IPI too, or maybe just SQL. Uh, I'll decide once I start like actually working on the project. I've kind of planned it out, but I've not yet started working on it. But yeah. If you want to go along this journey with me, learn SQL with me, subscribe, then let me know down in the comments what exactly you'd want to see. Otherwise, guys, thank you for staying to the end of the video. I am really enjoying this. I can't wait to start interacting with all of you. I can't wait to start creating content that is more curated to what you guys actually want. But yeah, uh, that's it from me once again. Uh, thank you so much. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.